FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Indianapolis Colts and the Washington Commanders. The veteran Joey Sly is set to get us started, and we are underway in our nation's capital. Taken from about the 12. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. Yeah, things are pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. You know what they say? Those guys on the other side, they get paid too. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Now falls. And that's going to be incomplete. But man, his first throw, that nearly went the other way. Instead, it's fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Oh, he's got his tight end, Mo Ali Cox, complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they'll get the conversion on a gain of 14. And motion left goes a tight end. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. But I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And some room to run now. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20-yard line. 47 yards rushing for him already. A terrific opening drive on the ground, and it's a first down. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. They run once more with Taylor. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense? The next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Under, 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 under. To the right side, this is Taylor. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. That was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. On third down, here's Taylor. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here's Foles. He rifles 
Fumbles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jamin Davis. Down the numbers. There he goes. Past the 20. And he will bring this one back. An interception return for a commander's touchdown. So just a tremendous play there defensively on his opening line. Not just to make the interception, but to take it all the way home. And it felt like this was a defense that was on its heels a bit to start this thing off. Yeah, they pretty much let the other guys march right down the field until that moment. Yeah, key play there. Turned it all around. Big moment. And his kick is good, but flags come in. Looks like we're going to get a roughing call here on the follow-through. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Bringing it out of his end zone, Isaiah Rodgers. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. Be alert, be alert. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not much here as he'll get it to the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. Montez Sweat with a tackle. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Foles. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked up by Benjamin St. Juice. Ah, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. They'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second down, a run with Gibson. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, here's Howell. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. They'll go, it's Gibson. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And they go play action with Hal. And looking for McLaurin, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Colts are going to get the football here at their own 23. Here we go, I got you, I got you. One, two, three. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Behind the chain, second and 13. They'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Well, congratulations to them. They come through defensively with another stop. But let's face it, the secondary, they've got on challenge so far in the first half. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he will not be able to get away as Foles is taken down. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. 
If you want a lesson on how to defeat an offensive tackle, that was pretty textbook. Is that a clip and save? Is yes. that that's what's going to go around the league and people are going to watch that and say, my goodness, that's how you do it? And I feel awful for the offensive tackle because we always talk about the athleticism of that guy who just beat him. Well, you have to be athletic to try and block that guy. Just in this case, the defense won. They'll look to throw here on first down. They'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball. He could not hang on. Second down coming up. Back to throw again. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So fourth down coming. We still haven't seen a punt yet. At least here, they're in a reasonable spot to go for. This I can understand. Some of the others, not so much. They'll look to throw again. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. So Washington in a good spot. They've got the lead. They will get the football as the second half gets underway. Well, certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start defensively at the 40-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. First down, how to throw. And looking for McLaurin, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Now a give to Taylor, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. From the 29, Foles. That ball caught by Campbell. Touchdown, Paris Campbell, 29 yards. And the Colts have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Frank Reich going to tell the offense to go for two. Foles will look to throw. 
And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Popular down near the goal line. Quick slant. Nice job there to get in, knock it away. It was one of the other things you're concerned about when you throw that route is to make sure your offensive linemen use their leverage to get the hands of the defensive front down so you can throw it through that little bit of crowd and get it to the receiver. In this event, they did, but a nice play by the defender knocking it away. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now to the air on first and ten. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Brandon Faison. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think, okay, he's a guy in all the commercials now. <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. Second down, another run with Taylor. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, a 15-yard touchdown run. And the Colts are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that makes this a nine-point game. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Robinson up the middle, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. So on this drive, the rookie leads him into the end zone, Charles, and that helps cancel out the points that were created on the previous drive when he threw the interception. Yeah, let's give some credit to this rookie because instead of hanging his head after his mistake leads to a touchdown, he comes back out and he's firing and made up for it right there. A well-executed series helps reestablish some confidence in him to run this offense. A fairly short kick from the 14. And it'll end there as he goes out of bounds, but a heck of a return all the way inside the opposite 40. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And the tight end goes in motion left. First and 10, Taylor now. 
He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play. Again, it's Taylor. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. On the handoff, this is Taylor. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 91 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. In motion to tight end. Running left, Taylor. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It was Deron Payne who got in there to make the play. So with your team leading in the fourth quarter, you know you've got to run the football. They know you've got to run the football. Sometimes that means there's nowhere to run the football. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Now, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Be alert, be alert. Possibly a turning point. Big yeah, play coming. Yeah. This is third and long. Look to throw here. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. So decision time now, because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no-brainer and you go for it. You have to analyze this one. To me, you take the field goal, take the points. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. Touchdown, Colts! Michael Pittman, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Colts will add to their fourth quarter lead. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough, otherwise they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that makes this a nine-point game. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. 
The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Here's Howell. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. He's got McLaurin, and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. A very nice job right there, working the middle of the field, able to create some separation, and then utilize it to not just make the catch, but turn up field once he got the ball in his hands. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. And what a throw that was, Charles. You think about the situation, close game, fourth quarter, rookie quarterback. He doesn't seem phased one bit. So much for Bright Lights, Big City, and will he wilt? Not at all. The stage not too big, the moment not too big at all. They needed points on that series, and not only did he produce a touchdown drive, but how about finishing it off with a big play that only adds to the momentum that they've already established. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. They go to the ground again with Taylor. The tackle by Cole Holcomb. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 125 yards rushing for him now as this sensational afternoon continues. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. The Colts in victory formation now as they take the knee. And now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And they take a knee. Now another timeout called for by the offense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. They'll run for it. It's Taylor. And this is going to come up well short as they stop him on fourth down. 